Take one. Do you like? Do you like to stay here? Uh huh. Maybe I should stand on this side. Or do you prefer this side? But I look so, so much I will... bigger than you. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Lorenzo is here. What's your name? <laughs> Today, I have invited my friend and subscriber. You are subscribing. Yes, yeah. I am. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Did you bring something that yes. we can uh, shoot today? So I brought my sunglasses. Ah. Oh. And I think it's gonna be a bit challenging for us, maybe. Yeah, let's give it a try. Absolutely. Yes, let's put on some live view. Maybe we should put out one flash. Now this is off and you can take a shot and see where we are. What do we get? And now it doesn't work. I'm yes, it, it, it's totally black. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's strange, yeah? It is. <laughs> what does this mean? Probably the camera needs to be adjusted a bit. But I would like to say that the most simple photography is studio photography. When it comes to the camera, the complicated stuff is how you set up the lights. That's mm. everything. Let's just turn on the flash. Let's take a shot. So I will say flash when I take a shot. Yeah, that's great. Okay, flash. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so what do we get? There is something. Now it's super bright. That's a very good observation. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I mean, it looks like. Let's, let's uh, put some focus on this. You can take another one. We just set it to manual mode and we just went for the the settings randomly what it was but we we got a picture we just put it on manual the camera will not do anything what about automatically okay so now we have to decide everything but we didn't decide anything but still we got we just put on the flash random power i have no idea but obviously like you said it's too bright mm -hmm. but that's not the problem just turn down the power of the flash or we could change the settings on the camera but let's come to that later so we just turn it down the flash what do we get now <coughs> okay you can take another one flash now it's maximum low power on this flash yeah i see it's it's totally blown out this white background so it's still too much light actually but just to see just turn it on put it to manual random setting turn on the flash it was too bright but just turn it down it's very simple isn't it so you build the picture with the light yes 100 percent remember in the beginning when we didn't turn on the flash it was just totally black canvas and that's what we want we want to build it we don't want to have the led lights and outside ambient light now it's it's still too bright but we put it on lowest power then we maybe have to go to the camera and look what we have there is only one thing on the camera we need to consider yeah it's this number 7.8 1 7.1 <laughs> this is the <laughs> aperture how much focus you would like to have the rest we don't have to bother at all with okay almost <laughs> well we can start there it's just the aperture so now it's 7.1, if you look there, I turn it down, 6.3, I can go all the way, 2.8. This is the lens maximum aperture. Okay, or so how will it look? the lowest value. Can I take a try? Yes, what will happen now? Now it got even worse. This is the aperture wheel, just switch it the other way around. Okay. Because probably we need to go the other way. What did we have before? 7.1 we had, and it was too bright. So probably should put it up a bit more. Eight. Oh yeah, you can start there. And it should get darker now, because the other way was the wrong way. Okay. Ah, this looks kind of nice. Because when we change the aperture, you know the lens, it goes like smaller and bigger, more light in, less light in. That's what you're doing. You decide how much light you want to hit the sensor. That's okay. what the aperture does. And now when you change it up to, how much was it? Eight? Eight point zero. Eight zero. Yeah, you closed it. It was more, seven point, at two point eight, it was this maximum. Then seven point one, and then you change it even more. So less light from this flash will go into the sensor. Okay. Th that's it. We should not bother about the camera, the technical stuff. Maybe if we put on some modifier, it will be dark, the flash will be darker. Then we might have to increase the power on the flash. So what else can we do? You see the shadow, you play with the shadows. 
when you take photos. You, you look at the picture, the shadow goes this way, but there's no shadow here. It's shadow on the other way. It's a bit confusing. That's why you always should be in the dark to take photos. Because this is the LED lights, but they don't go into the picture. But when you look, oh, here's a shadow. But when you take the photo, it's the flash shadow. So it's very confusing with this ambient okay. light. But we need it for the recording now. <laughs> but what we can do is to turn on this modeling light and it will help us to see. Now I see it, yeah. Because this is the only light that goes into the picture, you know, nothing of this. So if we turn off <laughs> the LED light, <laughs> or we turn off every, all the light, this is the only thing that goes into the picture, the shadow from the flash. You see this? And it looks exactly the same on the camera. So, <laughs> before we set the light we would like to have, I always start with the composition. We have to set a scene. Yes. Okay. For the shot. And we have to decide what we, how we will shoot this. I always start with what background do we want, what uh, position, the, how will we photograph this in the, the nicest way, I mean. Okay. So I see you made an uh, installation here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is kind of cool, I think. But I think we need to go up, higher up. And maybe we can be a bit on the sniskan, so like we say in Swedish. Maybe something like this. Tweaking and tweaking until I, I have... I just feel it. You can just not randomly throw something in the picture and take a photo and hope for the best. You really have to take a, make a decision. What do I like? What do I think look good? So it's also a matter of taste. Exactly. It's, that's what it's okay. all about. And it, if you don't have any taste, then you <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So I turn this on. So can I try? Yes. Flash. <laughs> <laughs> what will we get? Oh, cool. It's a bit bluish but tint. Did I should change the, the white balance. What did we get? Okay, now the white balance is more like how it looks. Like a natural color. Okay, you know? yes. Before, we had it set to like uh, tungsten. How is it called? Tungsten. Tungsten light. Ah, tungsten. Tungsten. You have this in Italy? It's called Tungsteno. Tungsteno. <laughs> tungsteno. In Swedish it's Tungsten. Maybe you don't know what we're talking about at all. But I mean, it's uh, like, like this I IKEA lamps. They are like 2700 Kelvin. They are very warm. If you look outside, today it's probably around 6000 Kelvin. The sun is around, I don't remember, 5000 to 6000. Somewhere there. So, I mean, before it was totally blue because we had it on the wrong white balance setting. Now I put it on flash. Flashes are around, I don't know, five, six thousand Kelvin, I guess. So now it looks more natural. Yes, and the white is balanced to look white. And we can always fix this later in uh, when we edit the picture. I like this focusing, how the... Um it's kind of cool that it's blurry. And that it's there. getting blurry, yeah. And it's good that you talk about this because how much sharpness do we like to have in the photo? Now it's like, it's probably sharp. We set the focus up here, already here, it's starting to fall off. And then it gets blurrier and blurrier. Because we have the aperture of 8. Let's try this uh, 2.8 again. Maybe we will see, <coughs> it will be very bright. But you see, it's very short depth of field, they call it. It's very little sharpness in the picture. It's only sharp here, and already here, very, very blurry. It can be a nice effect. Maybe we would like to have it a bit more sharpness in the picture. And that's what you're controlling with the aperture. It actually, it does two things. Letting light in and control the sharpness in the picture. Okay. So let's go back to, what did we have, 8? 8.0. You, you, you can take another one, so we come back to 8. And then we have, how much sharpness do we have? Now the logo is sharp, and then it starts to fall off here. Just for the sake of, uh, to understand how it works, I will put up it to 22. And take a shot, I will not um, touch the flash. I'll, now you will understand maybe why it turns very dark. Because we're closing the aperture. Okay. It needs more light now. The flash is the same, but we are changing the aperture. So that's, that's, that's why it turns dark. Yeah, okay. Exactly. So this is always a battle. We want more sharpness. Now when we take a look at it. You see, all oh, this is sharp. Now it's starting to fall off down here. This is almost sharp, this 
and it's also very black. Yes, but we can always fix this by turning on the power. You can take another one. I increase the power. Now we're back mm -hmm. again. So now I understand this balancing. It's about it's balancing always. the lights and yeah. the aperture. Yeah. So the lights and the sharpness of the picture. But now I think it looks not as nice as before. Because this is almost sharp now. Because 22 is very... Yeah, you get a lot of sharpness. I think mm -hmm. we should go back to 8. The composition, like the idea, this blurry thing, it was nicer before and now it's so sharp, so it's like a, like a dentist tool. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Take another one, now it's eight. Now it looks nicer to me. What if I like this, this shadow here, you know, now that, that you said it, that you mentioned it, now I start thinking about the, the shadows that you can make with the flash. Yeah. So do you see this one? Uh, here on the bottom yes maybe if we could put it in the picture it would be nicer i don't know absolutely it's your glasses <laughs> i think if we would like to have some like to have this play with the shadow mm -hmm. maybe we need to take the photo standing now it's horizontal you know i don't okay. know we can t we can we can we can uh, try okay take another one I also think it was a lot of space. Maybe it's nicer to see the shadow more. Or okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now uh, it looks nicer. Do you know why this shadow is so sharp? You see, it looks like the sun, I would say. Because you go outside and the sun is shining and you hold up your hand and the shadow is extremely sharp. Okay. Like a natural shadow, you mean? Yes, we could make it even sharper. And how to do this is to make the flash as small as possible. Because if you think of the sun, how big is the sun? One centimeter or something. It's extremely small light source. You think of it as very powerful, but it's the smallest light source you can find. It's just okay. one centimeter. Well, this is so close and also bigger, so it so looks... It's too close. Okay. What can we do? We move it away and it will be smaller. It will look more like, actually we should put it like probably 10 meters away to make it the same size as okay. <laughs> the sun. And now when we moved it back, it will lose it, the power of course. So we have to put up the power because it's a bit darker. Okay, now it's darker. Now the shadow becomes a bit more sharp because the flash is smaller light source it just wasn't one and a half meter probably should move it you know yeah. 10 meters away so that's what you mean when you say play with the light like try different positions yes. of the light maybe this shadow is not so fun that it goes straight like we can try to move this around what happens if we put it over here and we can put it as far away as possible i will put up the power because we move it away you can take a test shot see where we are yes 